What's up YouTube family? How you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal and I hope you stay and if you do, welcome to now the Now listen, family. you know I said I couldn't wait for this damn fight. That fight was funny, but we're going to do a few other people before we get into this fight. Now just remember now, I can't do the scenes like I used to. I can't show scenes with them fighting and shit because YouTube will cut that shit off or turn my shit off. But we're going to figure out a way to do it, okay? But let's start with Amber and Puppy. Puppy, I'm going to tell you right now, Amber was never your damn friend. And for Queenie to say that since Puppy has been with Eric, she been sad. I'm sorry, from my memory, she been sad since knowing Amber and Eric, okay? Because Amber played with her heart from the beginning, acting like she was going to be her woman, having sex with her, then the next day she don't remember. And then another thing that Amber did, Amber was reaching out to Eric's uh, wife and didn't tell Puppy. That was an issue. That's why they got into that damn argument. Had nothing to do with uh, puppy start and shit. So now you got TC thinking that puppy's on some shit. When is your woman? She's the one who admitted the shit. Like I told you, she was going to admit that she said the shit because she said it. So now they want to check on puppy because they ain't talked to puppy, okay? So they call puppy. And here's the problem I have with Amber. Amber sat there and talked to puppy with a lie. She told her a lie. She made it sound like TC just brought up the fact that her and her man was selling dope. And it's like, um, I'm sorry, puppy. The reason why she think he thinks that is because your best friend sat there and told him that you and your man was selling dope. So I'm not understanding why they still friends. She's not a good friend and she's just a lying ass. And I've never liked Amber because Amber always comes off as a liar. She will say one thing to her friends, but all along she's making up stories. She be lying now. You know she be lying. So I'll help you, Amber. So Puppy tells Amber and Queenie that she found out that Eric is still sleeping with his wife, Heather, because they're still married. So she said Heather called her and put them on a three-way, and she can hear them arguing on how who's going to go to who first for fucking sex. I said, wow. So now Puppy is talking about she can't take it anymore. She going to leave him. At that point, um, Puppy, I don't understand what the hold up is. I can't understand why you feel like you have to escape from Eric. Is Eric kicking your ass? Is he going to stalk you? Why do you need to formulate a plan to leave his house? And then they go to his, her mother's house to see the mama. Eric goes with her. So they're trying to give us this thing where... She can't do nothing without Eric. She said, Eric, keep her without a car, money, and all that. I could have swore the last time we watched their ass on that show, he had a car, Trans Am, she had one too. He didn't want to get busted cheating. It's probably why he took that car, because she had a car before, I'm sure of it. So apparently you think we forgetting some shit unless he took your car because you're making it sound like you're just a kept woman and he's keeping you trapped. And he keeps it that way. What threw it in for me is when she was talking to her mother and he all of a sudden says, I got to go to the bathroom, okay? Or whatever the fuck he did. And so now she tells her mother what's going on with Eric. At that point, bitch, you at your mama's house. You didn't have to leave your mama's house. Why do you need him like that? I tell everybody who get out of prison, get a job, get your own shit. That's male or female, so you don't have to depend on nobody. No one should keep you bound and you can't fucking leave because you depend on them. I've been there before, so that's why I'm saying that shit. But at this point, like I said, why do she feel like she has to escape from Eric? Motherfucker, just leave. And if he do some shit, call the police. That's all you gotta do. Amber come pick you up. She help you do everything else. Just tell Amber you want to leave. I heard she out and she about it. Her and Queenie can just come get your shit and take you to your mama's house. I feel like it's simple. I don't understand why we going through all this in the first damn place. Because it seems pretty simple to me. We gotta go. It's that time. So let's just move on to Chance and Taylor. So Chance finally had a conversation with Taylor that his son was coming and that she bought him a damn plane ticket. But of course, this is where the conversation gets interesting to me. This motherfucker sat there and told her, he don't have to tell her shit until they get married. I'm like, I'm sorry, you're living in my house, you with my kids, we're having a baby, 
that shit needs to be happening right now. So I'm glad Taylor was like, you know what, if you ain't going to be tripping like you tripping, we just won't get married. Taylor shouldn't marry him because he don't respect her. But like I said, I think they're playing around and just playing games. I really do. I think they're making up their story. Whatever. So let's just skip all that and let's go to this damn dinner. So he take everybody out to this expensive dinner. Now Taylor said she was just going to let it go for the moment since this is his first time being with his son and he don't do that too often. But here's the problem I'm having. Didn't he, we was, when they first came on, all his credit cards was maxed out, right? He had like $400 on a credit card. He did not have no money struggling to pay his bills, paying half on a bill. But then yet he goes out and buy this damn, blip, this washer. Where is he getting the money from, y'all? Is he getting other credit cards? So then they sit in here and they ordering all this food. And then at the end of the day, they didn't even have the money to pay for this food. They pulling out all kind of credit cards to see what's on the credit card to pay for the food. Now, if I know I got a problem with my credit card, I'm going to make sure I check this shit before going to the restaurant so that I'm not embarrassed. So now the son's just looking at him all side eye like these motherfuckers are broke. I have to say, little son look like um he's a nice looking young man. Chance, you got a nice looking young man, but you guys' storyline, I just don't give a shit about. I really don't. What's wrong? Sarah and Sean. So they finally had their little talk, and it seemed like they on the same page and coming to an understanding and shit. He said he gonna do right and try to help out more, and he kind of understand where she's coming from. But now she want to go to the doctor's office and get her titties done, because she said she, did, she had working titties. She had these babies sucking on her titties, so they was working titties. So she said she ain't got no more titties no more. So she's going to get her shit done. And in the middle of the damn appointment, she get a phone call from uh, her baby daddy, okay? Her baby daddy wanting to see the child, seeing it with when they can get together. Now, remind you, y'all, he just got out of rehab. He said he doing good. He's on a straight and narrow. It ain't long enough for me. I'm like, I need to see a good six months from you, maybe a year before I fucking even tell my daughter about you because it's been eight years now. Another year won't make a heat of difference. I need to know because I don't need you coming in and out of my life. Let's give him a chance. But she made the right decision. She said she don't want to tell Sean yet. She'll tell him when she have to, but she needed to tell her mama because her mama was the one raised, um, raised her child. So I'm glad that she respects her mama enough to let her know, hey, this is what's going on. What do you feel about it? And like the mama said, she's like, it wouldn't be fair to Abby not to try, but she's going to keep an eye on that shit. And I think they still, in my opinion, should wait, give the, you know, baby daddy another four months, make sure his ass is, is, is out. But I don't mind her playing games with Sean because Sean is always playing games with the women. So go for it, girl. Don't tell him shit. Do whatever you need to do, girl. Keep your little secret. I'll keep it for uh -uh -uh. So let's go to this grand finale with Monique, Derek, the sisters, the clan, the fools, the idiots, the fools, the idiots. That's what they were saying. Now we can see Elizabeth already came with the rah-rah. Here she is looking like a Muppet Ninja, okay? She got a full face mask on. She ain't got her little wig on. She got on this furry pink thing, okay? I don't know what she was coming to do, but she got this furry shit on her hair. Okay, so they're sitting there going back and forth with Eric, with, uh, with Derek. We're not gonna fight no bitch! And you know what? I'm standing where they standing on that one thing. HR puffing them stuff. They started it, Derek. They started it, and I'll stand on that. They went over there trying, like they said, to check the temperature. That's when they sent the pictures. All that is true, but all you guys are ignorant. Somebody should have stopped it at the end of the day. So now Derek don't want to go. He's like, I ain't trying to get into no shit. You guys fighting. I'm on parole and shit. Who wants to be involved in I don't need you guys. I was fighting. I need you guys to act like sense. So he just like got out the car and shit. He said he wasn't going. And I'm sitting there thinking, why you guys couldn't meet at a fucking Olive Garden or something? Why you got to go to a park like you know it's going to be a fight, right? So he finally get his ass back in the car. And they're telling him the same thing I'm telling you guys. They started the shit and this is how it all popped off. So homegirl is like, I'm not going out there to fight with these nails. I just got my nails on. I'm not going to fight. I said, okay, they going to fight. So they pull up to this park, which tells me they gonna fight. Possibly, never dies, they freedom. So they pull up. Um, <laughs> what's her name? What did I call her? The little Muppet. They get out the car. Hello, how you doing? Whatever, whatever. What you doing? Whatever. Just being ghetto and shit. So then they start going back and forth. And so now you got bunt cut, bunt cut, blunt cut, talking shit. 
Okay, she talking shit. She the one being all the mouthpiece. She want her to pull up. She's talking shit. They going back and forth. She talking shit. They just going back and forth, right? So during this whole thing, then homegirl get in the car. She take her ass in the car. So then Monique goes up to the car and starts talking shit. So now you got the other sister over there telling her to get out the car. Get out the car. You ain't gonna get out the car and run up. You ain't gonna get out the car and run up. Then her ass got out the car. Ass out. Took off that fur jacket and went and banged on her and the girl hit the ground. I'm sorry, her sister was no match for Elizabeth. Not one iota. Now here's the thing sis with the blunt cut. If you doing all this, you ain't supposed to hit the ground first. You not supposed to hit the ground first. So when she hit the ground first, here come her little chihuahua sister trying to get one in. I don't, I don't know where her little munchkin sister was hiding out at, but she just came in after the fact. Monique trying to be a part of the fight, but she too slow. Moving like a sloth. She's moving like a sloth. She can't get into it, but she's trying to get into it. They over here, they over there. I said, okay, was this just some bullshit? Because now you got the producers. Ain't nobody came up to stop it just yet. The shit was funny as hell. Okay, I died laughing. Now, sorry for this horrible looking shot, but it looks like Derek was pulling Cassandra's hair trying to get her off her sister. And then here you go. This fool is laying out on the ground, kicking the floor, hitting, hitting, <laughs> kicking the car and shit. I said, you guys look like a bunch of trifling ass fools. There's no way in my 30s I'm going to be out there fighting a bunch of fools. <laughs> At the end of the day, Elizabeth, I got a problem with you, ma'am. I got a problem with you. Built like a woman, still hit like a man. I don't give a fuck who get mad right now. I really don't. I'm not saying anything towards transgenders, but she should have been the last motherfucker come running out that car, swinging on somebody. Regardless of what she is, she still has more strength than a fucking woman, okay? She does. That's why that girl fell as soon as she popped the shit out of her. She fucking fell. I should have brought some reinforcement. She's being hit by something other than. Can I say that without people getting offended other than? I didn't appreciate that. She should have kept her ass in the car and sat her ass in the car. I'd press charges on her personally. I would really press charges on her. Because once you in the car, because that girl didn't hum hit you. She talking shit. People can talk shit all day. That's what they do. They talk shit all day. But you ain't supposed to get out your car and just run up and hit somebody. You a whole... Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Do you guys hear what I'm saying right now? Because I'm tired of people saying you being that, 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 um, what is that? You're shaming somebody. Fuck that. Built like a woman, still held like a fucking man. Period. Uncalled for. I did not like it. I didn't like it. So all that shit they was talking about, Monique's sisters jumped her. Did you guys see it that way? I didn't see them jump her, okay? Everybody was fighting. You can't even really include Monique. Monique could barely get her ass over there and get a hit in. She tried to get in when they got in a circle, like I said, moving like a sloth. <laughs> Trying to get that damn arm. She couldn't do shit. She couldn't do a goddamn thing. She couldn't. I didn't like it. I have a problem with that. Um, Derek, your sisters are trashy and trifling. And so are the rest of you guys. You too, Monique and guys. You guys didn't have to go there for that shit. Like, you already know in your spirit, you don't like these people. So why even try to get along with people that did the most disgusting shit to you? Like, why? I wouldn't even want to be your friend. Once you go that far with arguments and shit, really, there's no coming back and there's always going to be tension. I wouldn't have showed up. So I'm going to say all you guys collectively were trifling. And the one who set it all in motion, Derek. Derek knew that shit was going to happen. He knew that shit was going to happen. When he was in the car with his sisters, he should have turned that car around and went the other fucking way. Period. Because this wasn't going to turn out good. It wasn't. Y'all, 
I was just too thrilled. I was just too thrilled. As funny as it was, I was still annoyed because Elizabeth, you did too much and you went there ready to fight. You was all on the internet talking about they came ready to fight. They came with their wigs on. You the motherfucker who showed up with tennis shoes and a Muppet outfit and a damn full face mask because you didn't want nobody to see you without your look, honey. Without your look. And just to be clear, Elizabeth, you got out the car and beat everybody's ass. You didn't get jumped. You went out there. And I'm so glad that they covered that ill-fitted ass of yours. I'm sorry, girl. You, you, mm-mm, mm-mm. You did too much, Lizzie. You did too much, Lizzie. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to be moving back to San Diego. My mother is going to be moving with me. So we're bringing her back on the first. So got a whole lot of packing to do. Um, it's just going to be e easier for me to care for her at my house. Um, so she made that decision, and I'm, and I'm glad that she made that decision, and I'm so excited. I love my mom to death, y'all. So anyway, um, I'll see y'all with something else later. I know I missed a few people, but, you know, you know my time is short. Um, and if I miss some, it's because they puck asses what not deported in the first damn place. But I got about two other videos that I'm going to just throw up here. I hope you guys watch them. Um, from last week and the week before I just haven't had the time after a whole day I'm so tired that I just go to sleep I'd be wanting to like edit but I, I I'm just tired anyway you guys tell me what you guys think about Elizabeth in that damn fight because I surely want to know I'm gonna put this one out before I do the other old two so just know this one's going before the others maybe don't be an asshole y'all bye Let's go. <laughs>